Nothing makes a statement quite like designer jewelry or a classic timepiece, which is why I'm always browsing LuxuryBazaar.com for affordable options and one-of-a-kind accessories. Thank you to Luxury Bazaar for sponsoring today's video. Their website will be linked down below. Hey beauties, welcome back. In today's video, I will be sharing some of my favorite products from this past month. All of my January favorites are still current favorites, but whenever I'm choosing my list of things to talk about at the end of the month, I always like to keep things new and fresh. That way, neither of us get bored. I'm not sitting here talking about the same old things over and over again. It would be incredibly easy to do. So today's list is pretty short but sweet. All of these items deserve their moment in the spotlight, so that's what we're gonna do today. I also have a giveaway to announce at the end, so be sure to stay tuned for that. If by chance this is your first time here, I'm so happy to have you. This is our pink sparkly bubble on YouTube. We talk about luxury beauty, fragrance, everything glam in between. So I hope you'll join our community by subscribing, hit the notification bell, enter the giveaway. You arrived just on time for that. And let's go ahead and get started. This first product I have here to talk about is the LeBlanc Rosy Light Drops. This liquid illuminator is part of the Le Fleur A Low collection, but it's not limited edition, thankfully. I believe it's still only available in Chanel Beauty Boutiques and Chanel.com, but I'm just so happy that they're keeping it around. I love this liquid illuminator because you can mix it into your primer, mix it into your foundation, your concealer, and it gives the most gorgeous rosy glow to the skin. It makes your complexion look effortlessly radiant and healthy. I think I've mixed this into to my foundation just about every single day since I picked it up. It is now part of my beauty routine. It is so beautiful. I just love this soft and subtle glow it gives all over. But you can also tap it on top of your cheeks if you want to use it as a highlight. So it's very versatile in that way. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm always drawn to a liquid illuminator. There's just so much you can do with it. You can really get creative. And it tends to be a little bit more natural than a powder highlight. It doesn't look dusty on the skin. And because it's a light gel texture, it's not incredibly greasy or oily. It may look luminous. It will give you the illusion or the appearance of dewy skin, but this is for all skin types, which I love. Here in Miami where it's so hot and humid, I have normal to combination skin, but I definitely can become too greasy, too oily by the end of the day. I never struggle with this product. And I love the rosy tone. I think it is just so beautiful. I saw a sneak peek of the Cruise Collection. It looks like they have replaced the old Soleil Tan de Chanel Sunkissed Liquid Illuminator with two more shades of this. I cannot wait to see it. You know I'm going to do a full review. This next product I have here to talk about is also for glowy skin. This is the Pure Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. This is from Good Molecules and Beautylish. They actually sent this to me complimentary a couple weeks ago now, and I wasn't expecting anything, but it was such a happy surprise because I love a beauty oil. And this one in particular is packed with so many great things. I did a little research before the first time I tried it, and it is chock full of antioxidants. It has vitamin A and vitamin C, which can help stimulate collagen production. So two incredible ingredients for your skin. It's also vegan, gluten-free, fragrance-free, and it's made of 100% Chilean rosehip seed oil that is all ethically sourced. So you can feel really great about this product. I was already really impressed and excited, but then I saw the price and it's only $10. According to the website, it suggests you take a couple drops, warm it up in your hand, and press it into the skin. You can use it morning or night on top of your typical skincare routine. The way I like to use this oil is to mix it directly into my foundation. If you haven't heard me talk about my flawless face routine, it's three ingredients, a foundation, a liquid illuminator, and a beauty oil. It doesn't have to be these three, but some combination of those three products. And really one drop is all you need, but it makes such a huge difference. It actually helps the foundation glide on the skin so application is easier, it lays better, it dries down prettier, it just looks better overall. It's the application technique I used on my wedding day, it's what I use on all of my brides and clients whenever they want to look and feel their best. And since I just showed it to you, the next product I want to talk about is the new Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation. 
boy did I want to hate this product. I put off purchasing because I wanted to wait, see it in person. I love the fact that it has skincare benefits, hyaluronic acid, anti-inflammatory oils. The price point is very high. You can certainly find other foundations that are going to give you a similar appearance in terms of the finish of the actual foundation, but I truly do consider this now Tom Ford's best foundation. I also love that it has SPF 50. I think that is so important to protect your skin from the sun every single day. <sighs> I'm so thankful I had a naughty note whenever I went to purchase this. I'm not sure it's going to become my holy grail foundation that I'm just going to keep purchasing and repurchasing time and time again, just because there are so many incredible foundations on the market and so many great foundations that I love. But since it's new, since I love it so much, I wanted to include it on the list. I have a few more complexion products here to talk about. This next one is an oldie but it's a goodie and I have been using and abusing it lately. It is almost done. Ooh, You can see there's just a tiny little circle left. I think I will finish it just in time for the new bronzers coming out from Chanel, which I cannot wait. This is the Healthy Glow Luminous Color in the shade Medium. So this is one of the Lay Beige powders, but it's the Luminous Lay Beige, which is, not that luminous. I don't know. I've never considered these to be similar to a highlighter. It has a slight sheen to it, but even when I apply this bronzer and I look really close in the mirror at my skin because I want to see, is it actually luminous? Yeah, I suppose you could say it is, but it is so soft and subtle. Instead of 10, 20, 30, etc. It's not a numerical scale. It comes in light, light, medium, 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 dark, and dark, etc. The medium is kind of a light bronzer for me. I think whenever I replace this, or actually I'll probably wait to see the new Cruise Collection bronzers, but if I do end up replacing it, I'll probably go one shade darker. I have another new Chanel product here. This is the blush that I picked up that was also part of the Le Fleur A Low collection. It's 330 Rose Petillon, which somebody commented and they said that this has been available forever in Europe and it wasn't limited edition. So I went back and I checked and sure enough, in the training materials it says this is new with the collection, it's limited edition. So I know different regions get different things. When I saw this in store, I just had to have it and I've been on a blush kick and I really didn't need to buy it, but I'm very glad that I did because it is this perfect, slightly luminous pink. It, it doesn't have shimmer but when I'm looking at it it is meant to have a little bit of a glow to it and it is just the most beautiful baby pink it's almost as if they took the tweed pink blush and intensified it a little bit which that blush shows up on barely anybody I personally really like it because it's very soft and I'm fair but this would be that perfect brighter version if you do like that soft baby pink look this next blush is the shade peach it's from Laura Mercier. This was sent to me complimentary. It's the shade that I have on my cheeks today. I thought it would look more like a soft peachy pink, the way it looks in the pan, but it actually is the perfect dupe for Tom Ford Lovelust. I love that shade of blush, and I imagine this is probably in the $30 to $40 range versus 63. They look nearly identical. It does have a soft peachy pink glow flush, but it also has a slight gold sheen to it, which is really beautiful, especially for spring summer. I'm on this peach kick right now. I don't know why, I'm not sure what set it off, but I'm just so drawn to colors like this. So I know I'm going to get a ton of wear out of this. And because I'm on a peach kick, I've been getting a lot of wear out of the Angel Alessandra Hot Lips 2 Lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. This is on my lips today, and it's part of one of my new favorite lip combos. So I have this on, but underneath I layered this Laura Mercier lip liner. This is the shade Rosewood. It looks pink, but it's actually more of the perfect peach. These two are the perfect match. So I line my lips with this. I actually fill them in because it's not too thick or drying. That way it gives a base for the lipstick to lay on top of. And then I go in with my Angel Alessandra and then I topped that off with the Tom Ford number 14 Crystalline lip gloss. This is the perfect peachy nude combination. I love all three of these products and I'm probably going to live 
in this lipstick combination for a while now. I'm just not sick of it and I don't think I will be anytime soon. But when I want something a little bit deeper, I've been grabbing Glowing Gen. <laughs> this probably does fall into the category of products that I talk about nonstop. It's this beautiful tawny shade. It's sort of warm, so I feel like it's that deeper peach but so beautiful. I still feel like this is a great everyday shade. It's a deeper nude. So beautiful. A shade that I wore yesterday is the Karina Star. So this is almost like a deep peachy coral shade as well. It's just the season, isn't it? Now that things are starting to warm up, or at least they are here. These are the colors that I love for summer. A coral lip, a peachy nude that tawny nude, just beautiful. And then I also have another lip liner here that matches that same sort of color story. This is Baby Lips from Laura Mercier. So if you see me wearing a peachy nude lip, chances are very high that it is Angel Alessandra from Charlotte Tilbury. Now this next item might seem sort of random for a favorites video because I've never talked about it on here before, but it's sort of perfect because it is quite literally a bag of favorites. This is the Beauty Expert Icons bag, sent to me complimentary from Beauty Expert a couple months ago now. And I didn't talk about it then because I like to wait to experiment and try products before I simply post about them. Unless it's something that I know I'm going to love and I can feel really confident promoting, I wanna try things out. I'll show you everything that's in this bag. These are all bestsellers, top products, but a couple of them really stand out. So the first one I'm just gonna go ahead and grab. This is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream All Over Miracle Oil for face, body, and hair. It's starting to show that I'm using it, but I've been using this now to help extend the life of my sunless tan, and it is amazing because it says eight hour cream, but I feel like the hydration lasts way longer. So because I like to regularly sunless tan, it can be very drying on the skin, but also you have to keep your skin moisturized in order to extend the life of the tan. You really have to be constantly pumping your skin full of hydration in order to make it look good. So I'll go in with my daily moisturizer, but then I always spray this all over my legs and arms. It smells really amazing. It's nice and lightweight. It does leave me feeling maybe slightly greasy, but I don't mind, especially in the evenings because I know that it is the only way my skin is not going to start flaking off and I am not going to look like a leopard because my tan is incredibly patchy. Another product that I am so interested by, please let me know if you have ever heard of this or seen anything like it. I had not. This is the Niode, Neode Photography Fluid. Opacity 12% Highlighting System. Of all of the products in this bag, this is the one that stood out as being something so strange and unique, but it is really cool. So this is a makeup primer. It helps create a really smooth canvas if you have any discoloration on your skin. So it looks pretty fair. You can see it's like this cream color and it has a dropper. Let's see if I can get the dropper to work. Uh, barely. I couldn't get the dropper to work earlier either, but it seems pretty thin. Okay, there we go. So it does work a little bit and you have to give it a really good shake. It's so light in the bottle, but when you blend it out on your skin, you lose a little bit of that white cast and it just creates the most even complexion. So it gets rid of hyperpigmentation, rosacea, post blemish marks, any sunspots, when you apply your foundation on top, everything is instantly even and smooth because you have that base underneath. And the first time I saw this, I thought back to a conversation I had with a friend of mine who also happens to be a makeup artist. And we were just talking one day, sort of geeking out over some of our favorite makeup artists. And when we were showing each other their work on Instagram and she mentioned that she had seen Rouge. I believe she's the makeup artist for a lot of the Kardashians and you'll have to excuse me if I'm saying her name wrong. She did some sort of makeup class where she was showing that on all of her models and on the Kardashians, she uses Milk of Magnesia as a makeup primer because it acts the same way this does, but it's probably way more harsh. It just creates a almost white surface underneath and then anything with color that you put on top 
goes on and it looks instantly even and smooth. A couple other great things in the bag. It comes with the Eve Lum Cream Cleanser. I'm currently using my Gel Balm Cleanser. <sighs> Amazing for removing makeup. I don't know if I've ever tried the cream, but this is really nice. It comes with the, the little muslin cloth. And there is a special system for how you how you use it. As soon as I run out of the Evelum cleanser I'm currently using, I will put that to good use. You also get a Babor Sensational Eyes Reactivating Eye Cream. Always in the market for good eye cream. The Molten Brown Ginger Lily Body Wash. This smells amazing. Just want to smell it really quick. Mmm. So light and fresh. It's really good. You also get a NUX Rev de Miel face balm for dry and sensitive skin. It has honey, propolis, and precious oils. And it comes with a little pamphlet where it talks about each product, why it was chosen as one of the icons, but basically they're all just top sellers from the beauty expert. The bag, as I showed you, I think the color is really elegant and sophisticated. I'll definitely use this for traveling. And I want to say it retails for about $102, but it's a $220 value. So that's the good thing about getting the entire bag. This and this blew me away. I am so excited to try the others, but wow, I think that's a really great value. That's all I have to talk about for products. So let's go ahead and get into this giveaway. One of my lucky subscribers is going to win this box of Laura Mercier products six lipsticks, two of my favorite blushes, and my two favorite new primers, the Illuminating Primer and the Perfecting Primer, all in here. To enter, you must be subscribed, like this video, follow me on Instagram, and comment below with your IG handle so that I can contact you. The giveaway is open now until March 7th, one week from today. Good luck to everybody who enters. And that completes my monthly favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, your questions down below. I'd love to hear your favorites for February, so drop me a comment. As always, I will be linking all of the products mentioned, everything that I have today on my face, down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.